right. Hello, everybody. Woo. Today was a hard day. Me and my nephew, who is sitting up here listening to me videotape this, e, we was busy today. Had him cleaning up, helped me with the backyard and these chairs that I brought from the thrift store. That got some stuff in it. I cleaned this. But yeah, it's funny when you're outside, bugs just be coming around. I had some kind of bug. Remind me, Corti, to um, show you the, the ring camera. This bug jumped into my goggles and all, all I saw was little bugs. Actually, it wasn't that little. Flickering in my, my glasses. So I'm out there just yelling, waving my hands, threw the goggles off. I had a water hose in my hand. I squirted my hair, so you're not going to see my hair. Squirted all over trying to get this bug. Yeah, it was a mess. <laughs> it was a mess. I can't wait to look at the video so him and I can have a good laugh. So that has been my day. Today, as you see, I'm doing another bowl. I am liking these bowls. I clean this thing. Maybe the napkin is dirty. Um, yeah, I did. So this is my one, two, this is my fourth bowl. My third bowl that I did, it, um, it cracked. It cracked on the side where I had, where I laid the leaf up because these are, this is a flower. So where I laid the, the petal up then, it was too much like this and it was too much pressure here so these sides on this one petal cracked so yeah so i'm gonna have another bowl at home and i mix these up i mix the the epoxy up and honey i started doing something else knowing this stuff you got to use this right away and look at this is regular paint this is the same epoxy i mixed it in the bowl 16 ounces and I just put regular paint in here and in this one I put metallic so look at the metallic is thicker than the regular paint let me look at this one this is regular paint look how thin it is uh, and then I got a pink over here and this is regular paint look how thin it is so the metallic makes the epoxy Thicker, get thick and thick and thicker fast, and that ain't good. Uh oh, Lord, I'm about to pour this out. Don't want to do that. So what I'm gonna do is tap these, get the bubbles out. I guess I gotta work fast. Get the bubbles out. Get out bubbles, and oop, just start spreading around. I'm not gonna do the center like I've been doing them with the silver in the center i'm just gonna play with this one just to see how you know these colors are spread them out i might do like you know i don't know just work with me but i see i gotta get this white on this white and this silver because like i said this stuff is thickening up and yeah, I just picked a lot of colors. I like this because it's like, you know, when you're here by yourself and you're doing a video and you're playing around. I had fun doing the other videos. And on the other videos, you see that I put a clear at the bottom so that these can be on top but they were really thick really really thick so this time I'm not doing the clear look at that you know that's pretty look at that I'm not doing the clear I'm just putting this down and making and you know when it when it dries it's not going to fill out so i might have one of them pretty vases that i've been seeing people do on on youtube 
that I said, I ain't gonna never be able to do that. That look hard. But we will see. How are you guys doing today? My back kind of bothered me now, all that work I did. Oh yeah, this one is thickening up too. Look at that. But this one, you know, maybe it's the pigments. I don't know. These pretty. I see a little bit of bubbles coming up. Go. Can't hurt my back because we are leaving to go to Chicago, Illinois, Wednesday morning. My fr my husband's friend that he was in the army with um, is still in the service and he's doing the change of uh, guard ceremony. So we're going out to support him. And spend some time out there in Illinois. We're going, um, it's a, like a, a three hour drive from Chicago. And then we're going to come back and spend some time in the Windy City. Go to the wharf down there. We're staying like a block away from uh, the Blue Notes. Not the Blue Notes. The Jazz Blue Jazz Blue Jazz, <laughs> jazz Blues Club or something like that. I got to look it up again. And I went to go look it up and to see who was be, uh, performing there. You know, I was going to surprise my husband and get some tickets. But it was a thing called, now get this. Shrimp, no, not shrimp. That's my favorite thing. It was called Grits and Biscuits. So if you have never heard of it, I've never heard of it. Look it up. And it is actually like a DJ party type thing. Where this guy plays music and people pay $35 to come into this party. And they go from city to city to place to place. And they just party. And, you know, I ain't never heard that. I heard that, you know, when certain DJs in certain towns, like we had a, a DJ when I grew up in San Francisco, his name was DJ Funk. <laughs> Mr. Funk. And, you know, we would party, go there and party and stuff. And whenever he was having a... A party and there was another one dr funk so i think they were part of the radio stations djs whenever they were having a party you know it's like oh they's having a party it was on the radio blah 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 and we would go to these parties and i used to love to dance when i was younger but yeah so i was like mm. so then i was spoiled the surprise and and told my husband about it. And he was like, well, no, we'll just go somewhere and have a good dinner. I said, okay. I think they have a, a museum down there. So we might head over to the museum. And there's this one. I love wings. I love the food, period. So, But I love to eat chicken wings. I like the whole wings, but I still will go to Wingstop. But, um... They have this place called Hervey's, Her Harry's, starts with an H. And I saw it on this one person's, he does, you know, go around food, eating food and stuff. 
Mark wins. Everybody watches him. And he's one of them food monk bomb people. And he went there. And then this other guy that I watched here in the Bay Area, he went there. And the chicken, they said the chicken wing was just so good. That's all you got to tell me. You ain't got to tell me it's good. You just got to tell me where it's at. And I'm there. Yeah. Am I making you hungry, Cordy? <laughs> Talk about food. Yeah, so if y'all know somewhere in Chicago, are uh, we going down to the, oh, I think I said it, the wharf down there and see, see how, I think I've been to that wharf club because my son, he was in the, when he graduated from the Navy, we flew into, we flew into Chicago and it's probably the same city because I think the city that's outside of Chicago is actually a, like a, a army or a Navy army and everything that they have out there. So we might be going to the same city. Driving to the same place. But yeah, you see the way this is going to turn out. We is not moving. Even though these are thin, it's not moving much. And I did this with another vase. I did black, white, and silver. And of course, that's at my house. <laughs> It is so pretty. That one turned out really nice. But the first one that I did, the blue one, that I already posted that video. That turned out nice. And it is on my wine, my wine cabinet, refrigerator, whatever you call that thing. And those colors look nice inside my house. But yeah, just have fun with these. And if you guys, I think you guys need to let me know. If you guys know of a epoxy that doesn't bubble that much, that doesn't get hot so fast. Because this stuff gets hot really fast. Well, I guess, ooh, this is warm. So it's moving to the sides, I see, so we won't get that other effect. I know y'all looking like, that's a lot of colors. Yeah, it is. But when I did the other one, and I just did two colors, it was pretty, but it was, you know, me. I like a lot of colors. It was kind of bland. I was like, oh, I need to do one with a lot of colors. I got a little, little girly right here. I'm going to pour this white in. Because this white is metallic. Uh-oh.
So I found me a bowl yesterday. I was out and about, and instead of using my mixing bowl and that the Halloween bowl that I found at the thrift store didn't work. The size was just too high and it was too kind of too stiff that bowl. But um, I went to the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. I think it's the Dollar Tree, the one I went to, and. So I only brought one because I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. And it worked perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ooh, I ain't been using this one. This one getting thick. Look at that. Let me put that on the side. This is the silver. Maybe I'll put silver around those sides out there. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, some of the petals going to have silver. And you know, when you put these as bulbs, you really don't see a, you don't see a flower. You just have a, you know, a bowl. Yeah, this silver is sticky now. And I've been seeing some of you said, oh, I want to do some faces. I want to do the pores. And, but I'm just, I don't know. Do them. Do them. Stop overthinking it. And do it. Have fun with it. Because I should have been making videos a long time ago. I started thinking about doing videos way back in 2005. I told my cousin and my girlfriend that I wanted to start doing my cooking videos. And I wanted to start making CDs and, and you know, just start doing that. Because, you know, after I graduated, I had a catering business and... I did that for a few years while I lived in Southern California and then my mom got sick so I moved back to Sacramento and just Sacramento was just not willing to pay me the kind of money that I was making in Southern California so I stopped catering. I only did catering for people I knew and people they knew. You know, oh I know somebody. They were mainly referrals. I could say no, you know. I, you, I guess you can say no to catering things too, but you can just, I really didn't want to put myself out there as much because it just wasn't paying it. I had to get a real job. I went back to work. But yeah, if you, and if I would have did that years ago when I said I was back in, 2005, honey, I would have been on YouTube, I would have been monetized and everything, but, you know, you start talking yourself out of it, and you don't do it. So if you say you're going to do it, if you want to do it, if it's, you know, you've been thinking about it, stop talking yourself out of it. Stop. Just do it. And if you don't like it, stop. You ain't got to do it forever. I started doing my, this videos because, you know, I'm going to be retiring in a few years. Couple, couple years, few years. Way The way the prices is going up will probably be a few years. I don't want everything to be on my husband because he's going to still be able to work. But, you know, I said I wanted something to do. And... 
I've been watching the YouTube channels and all these little young folks out there doing all this and doing that, making all these YouTube channels. Not just young folks, you know, a lot of people making YouTube channels. And I said, I'm going to make me have my YouTube channel. And it's going to be this. And I started off just to see if I was comfortable with it. So I started talking about, you know, my weight loss journey, which is still a journey. And I said, you know, my family, I told them, hey, I started my YouTube channel and all of them supported me and they, they signed up and were my first subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. And um, this is a way they got to see what auntie was up to, too. And um, so I said, wait a minute, I want to do something else. And my husband's like, are you going to cook? So I did a couple cooking things on here to see how they went. People just they didn't go anywhere. But then I started doing the vases. I said, let me see how this goes, because that looks like something that I could do. And when I started seeing how much fun I was having doing them, I have not stopped. Because I was already painting, and I didn't, oh, look how thick this is. Oh, my goodness. What can I do with the rest of this? I hate wasting this stuff. I'm going to put it on, on the little girl right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yep, y'all can see it. Um, yeah, so I just started doing the videos and see how they went and see how comfortable I was with... <laughs> comfortable I was with running my mouth. Which, you know, you can tell... Oop, I done burnt the thing. I ain't had no problem doing that. But... But if you was in front of me, I probably would. Maybe. I don't know. Um, and I said I wasn't going to make this that thick. So next time I do this, I would only do, I'll probably just do 12. 12 ounces. Because 16 ounces is a bit too much. Because I didn't want it to be that thick. Pink is thickening up. But yeah, if you feel you want to do something, do it. And the, the program that I use is, oh goodness, y'all. Video, video Chimp or Video Champ. And it was on my computer already. I brought me a new HP. And I brought me an all-in-one last year on Black Friday. And it was already on there. Nope. I had to go to the website. But it was like one of those referral things through HP that said, you know, hey, are you trying to do videos? And look at this, you know, program. And it's free. I mean, you can upgrade and to get the i think it's like a golden one but if you don't want to you don't have to you don't have to and i use it the regular one I'm going to put a little bit of glitter, just a little bit, sprinkle it on here, just, oh, I should burn it first. Not burn it, but get the bubbles. Get the bubbles. And these bubbles, oh, don't be catching fire. See, these bubbles, they go, they come up. So you got to keep on, keep on doing this. Pay close attention. Okay. 
pink is almost let me put a little bit of this old thick white Put the rest, nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna fill little princess up over here. Fill her up with the rest of this magenta. So far, my little keychain's been going to family members. Because <laughs> I'm just experimenting. I'm experimenting. Didn't want that to happen. Oh man, that was all white. Oh well. Oh well. Because I was going to put another color in there. I still can. I can do like this. Drizzle some colors in there. Come on. Uh-oh. Just play with it. Just play with it. So I'm out of the blue. Uh, I have a little bit of the pink left, and it's thick. Look at how thick that is. It's thick. The gray is gone. I'm gonna use that. The magenta is gone. So, ooh, this is this is warm too. I'm finished. I'm finished. If y'all hear my voice in the background, my nephew got the, my videos running. <laughs> well, I had them and then he came back in and cleaning off these sticks. I can reuse my sticks. Y'all know me. I'm a, I'm a recycle queen. So this is it. When I take it out of this mold and, oh, look at this. I did this in the last video. Damn it. I mean, dang it. How many can I edit that? <laughs> Probably not. Um, I ain't that fancy yet. Um, when I take it out of the mold and put it inside the bowl, I'll let you guys see it. But that will be in about six hours. See you soon. Yeah, I thought y'all was finished with me right now, huh? Right now, right now, right now, right now. I said I was going to put glitter. Sprinkle little glitters. Not a lot, because in my last one, I did a lot of glitter. It was just too much for me. So I just want to sprinkle just a little bit around the sides. Because this side, is a reason why I'm just doing this side, because it's going to make this side more unique than the other side. 
and then I can make up my mind which side I'm gonna use for the, the inside of the bowl part. So if I decide this side, it'll be glitter. And if I decide the other side, it will be no glitter. I laugh at myself sometimes. Don't you go back and watch my videos? I don't watch them that often. And this table is, is even, but I think I got too much of this because it's coming to that side. Anyway, see you later. Okay, y'all thought y'all was finished with me? Nope. I wanted to show y'all the bow. Y'all was going to see it again, but I just wanted to show you the bow that I got for $1.25. And it's going to work because the outside, the bowl is spread out versus the other one, it was more upright. Okay, I'm, by, I'm gone for real until I do it. So everybody, I put this in the back seat of my car because my nephew was in the front and I had stuff on the floor of the car. I wish I would have just moved that stuff because it tilted it came out the mold, but I'm glad I had it on the um, the sheet that I made it on, so it just spilled on that. But look at it came out. Everything stretched this way. It's still pretty because I love the colors. <clears throat> I don't know. Ugh. I don't know.